all right my people welcome back on this one it says self-determination is a legitimate cause and this had been said by the yoruba assembly all right my people the news in details onto this the conglomerate of yoruba groups yoruba assembly yesterday sought unity in the call for self-determination agenda while suing for peace among the yoruba ethnic groups on today's the call was made during the 135th anniversary of the kiriji also known as the akt parapo war themed celebration of unity which was held at the house of chiefs secretariat ibadan speaking at the event convener of the event the chairman of afeni ferry renewal group comrade olawale Oshun said that the obligation of the yoruba assembly is to educate the southern the southwestern part of nigeria to stand up to the inactivities and the inactions preventing the development of the southwestern part of the country all right let me take that again it says the yoruba assembly is to educate the southwestern part of nigeria to stand up to the inactivities and the inactions preventing the development of the southwestern part of the country he noted that the assembly felt that yoruba ethnic groups should be reminded of the need to be peaceful and then remain united which was the pledge of the kiriji peace treaty signed in 1886 all right so and then it's worth well as you can see we said this is the celebration of yoruba unity this day 135 years ago our forefathers signed the 1886 peace treaty and then with the pledge that yoruba people would henceforth from that day live in unity live in peace and then today we felt that we should remind ourselves of that pledge and uh, that is why we convened together this is not a talk show because we have been collaborating with one another before today we have been sending all the messages to all yoruba people that it is time to come together to confront our problems together to confront the enemies within together to confront our developmental problems together and then to face the need of our people and this can only be undertaken by people we elected into office so to remind those we elected into office that they owe hearts and obligation whether they are lawmakers or executives that they hold the yoruba people an obligation it is our duty to call them to question Henceforth, we have decided to continue to do so to educate our people to stand up to the inactions because as we can see from the unity issue that there are so many steps to take so many that can even be taken administratively even if the nigerian state is refusing to restructure that we can continue to take these issues one by one and then demolish them we will continue to remind ourselves on this when people say we talk too much unless we are ready and prepared to take up arms now we have to keep talking to without away from the old that those in government have on horse that old as that old has to be released at the national level because federating units are being cheated as a surrogate which we are not so we have to continue to work until their old is released 
Unity starts at home. If we are not united at home, how can we preach unity at the national level? If your family is not united, can you have a united neighborhood? You must start from home. Let us start from here first, he said. All right, so in his own submission, the chairman of Nationalities Alliance for Self Determination, Ninas, Professor Banji Akintoye, called for a regional referendum to be conducted and further advised the southwestern part of Nigeria to dwell on unity in order to achieve the self determination agenda. Represented by Dr. Kunle Hamzat, Professor Akintoye said the position of NENAS is for a credible regional referendum to be conducted. The position of NENAS under the chairmanship of Emeritus Professor Banji Akintoye is very unambiguous. We want a credible regional referendum to be conducted. People are talking about restructuring. You can only restructure a structure. The question to ask is, is there any structure to restructure? Of course, even when you want to restructure, the, that means you want Nigeria to be reinvented. Well, Nigeria is reinventable. It has to be rene renegotiated, and um, that's the reason. People at the center are shying away from renegotiation. Let's come to the roundtable to renegotiate this contraption called Nigeria. In the presentation of Pa Akintoye, he said all of us are slaves in this contraption called Nigeria. Don't forget, I was a Fulani kidnapped victim. Two people were slaughtered in my presence and we feel we are not safe. There is need for us to really engage the government and we will continue to do so not only because it is right but it is also legitimate and we are deploying non-violent means towards achieving that we sympathize with the sentiment of IPOP within the context of self-determination, but we are diametrically opposed to the violent method being deployed towards achieving that goal. In his remark, the Director General of the Developmental Agenda for Western Nigeria, Don, Mr. Sheye Uyileye, admonished the youth to ensure they collect their permanent voters card in order to actively engage in the coming election and ensure they are not used by the politicians as political talks. We are moving towards an electioneering period that's 2023. So again, I want to admonish our people to go and collect their PVCs and uh, be actively engaged in the process and then uh, during the election to ensure that they are not used as political talks and then also not go about collecting money before that vote. All right, so because the moment you collect money and a vote, you no longer hold that representative accountable. The social contract is broken the moment you collect money. All right, my people, and this is what it is on to this one. Well, a lot of things are actually being said on to this. Well, and it has been said that self-determination is a legitimate cause. Yoruba Assembly. All right, to so my people, this is what it is. Onto this one, well, onto this, uh, majority of people actually reacted in one way or the other. Ileya Omo Yoruba, Ile Kukun Tagbe, Yoruba Nation, no retreat, no surrender. All right, my people, that is what it is. Onto this one. One, what more can we say? Meanwhile, let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.